I first performed Takademe at the Lynn Seymour Awards in November of 2022, and I was lucky enough to win with this solo, which was super exciting. The Lynn Seymour Award is a competition for expressive dance where all of the second year students pick a solo from any dance repertoire and they have to coach themselves on that piece of choreography and then it is performed for a panel of judges who pick who they like and how they interpreted various solos. I think I was most interested in this solo because of the music. Um, Sheila Chandra, it's, she speaks it and there's Indian Katak influences within it. Also, Robert Battle's choreography was so unique and something like I'd never seen before. And this is what, along with the musicality, really attracted me to this piece of choreography. I'm very excited to perform this for the summer performances this year, a bit surprised. I didn't think that something I would have chosen on my own in November last year, I'd have the opportunity to do. But I'm very excited to see where it can develop and see where I can go with the solo moving forward. So originally I learned the solo off YouTube back in November and this year I've been lucky enough to work with Kanji who has danced the solo before and works at the Alvin Ailey Company. We have been having rehearsals over Zoom, which is obviously interesting, but I think working with him, I've realised how much detail I've missed out from learning it off a video. I think you can understand movement um, in a very two-dimensional way, but when you have someone who's worked with the choreographer and has that extra knowledge, it adds an extra level of depth to the performance.